Good afternoon. My name is Corpanaru Gabriela Livia. I am a teacher of economic at the Alexandru Iancuza Economic High School, Piatra Neamț City, Neamț County, Romania country. Currently, I am a teacher trainer at the Teachers Training Institute Neamț, Piatra Neamț City, Neamț County, Romania. I have a professional experiences of 20 years in education and 12 years in continuous training. I am a doctoral student of the last year at the Gheorghe Asaki Technical University of Iași, Faculty of Industrial Design and Business Management, Doctoral School, Engineering and Management. The theme of my doctoral thesis is quality as a dimension of performance in education. The paper is part of the doctoral thesis entitled quality of the dimension of performance in education. Performance management. Performance management should be understood as a continuous process reflecting normal management practices, not special techniques imposed on, on managers. Its conceptual framework includes terms such as performance management, performance, performing organization. Performance management was also approached as a regulation loop, linking organizational strategies and objectives. Performance measurement, performance training, performance guidance and leadership, and performance rewards. The performance of an organization is determined by level of co coherence and stability, its ability to procure and use the resources of this reputation and image, the synergy of multiplying determinants such as employee relations, communications, missions, philosophy and leadership style, recognition, quality of organizational process. Performance is defined by behaviors, but especially by results. A mixed performance management model is concerned with both inputs and outputs. The selection of the best model to improve performance is based on a self-assessment process. The complexity of management an organization today requires that managers to be able to measure performance and analyze that impact of different dimensions of performance on organizational excellence. Many experts in the field have started talking about the importance of measurement as a means of communication. The institution's performance in analyzed on the basis of key internal and external performance indicators, established targets and existing trends, judge constructively with the establishment of improvement targets. Any performance measurement indicator is also used as a tool to control it effectively for the implementation of continuous performance improvement actions. Performance management is a system that includes methodology for settings objectives, a performance measurement processes, a different payment system, career management. Performance management is a strategic and integrated approach to ensuring lasting success in the work of organization by improving the performance of the organization's teams and individuals. Performance management encompasses the process of measuring results and evaluating staff. Modern approaches to performance management combine all the aspects mentioned in an integrated framework. Unlike past approaches which limited Performance management to the stage of personal management or the collection and reporting the organizational performance indicators. 
The first performance measurement tool was developed by Kaplan and Norton in the 90s as a balanced scorecard highlighting the relationship between professional performance and the organization's strategy, each evaluation criterion as correlated with each element of the strategy. Performance management was also approach as a regulation loop linking organizational strategies and objectives, performance measurement, performance training, performance guidance and leadership, and performance reward. The performance of the organization is determined by its level of continuity and stability, its ability to procure and use resources, its reputation and image, its synergy of multiplying some determinants such as employee relations, communication, mission, philosophy and leadership style, recognition, quality of organizational process. The performance management highlights two fundamental aspects. How do we measure and evaluate the real level of performance? How do we make the level of performance have a weight and how do we ensure the increase of performance. According to some authors, organizational performance refers to technical performance, which involves efficient use of all resources in the organization, economic performance, which involves obtaining a superior quality with low cost. Social performance, which involves ensuring an optional climate favorable to the development and activities in the organization, adaptability and flexibility to customer needs. Managerial performance, which requires adaptability and flexibility to the needs of the organization, the needs of the community, the specific of organization's activity. Performance is defined by behaviors, but especially by results. Performance measurement tools and indicators do not just measure performance, they are often integrated with policy, strategy and many other behavioral issues. Performance means both behavior and results. Behavior emanates from the performer and transforms performance from the abstract notion into concrete action. Not only are they tools for achieving results, behaviors are the in and on themselves results, the product of the psychical and cerebral effort made to perform tasks and can be judged separately from the results. Thus, we can evaluate and measure performance both with reference to results exist from the task performance process and to behaviors inputs to the work process. The purpose of measuring organizational performance is to identify the results respectively the success or failure, identify the client's need or meet help the organization to understand its processes and confirm what is known or to reveal what is not known. Identify where there are the problem, blockages, losses and where improvements are needed. Ensure that decisions are based on facts, not assumptions, emotions, fate or intuition. Show whatever the planning improvements actually took place. The characteristics of the performing organizations. There are also various concepts and approaches. The performance of the organization is expressed by its effectiveness and 
in this sense, an effective enterprise and a successful one. The performance of the organization is determined by four key organizational features, call it the capabilities of the company. Adaptive capacity, leadership capacity, managerial capacity, technical capacity. To these basic capabilities can be added another regarding to ability to positively change the external environments through action on information, education, persuasion and companies' partners. The company's performance is ensured by improvements in several key areas. Organizational stability reflecting in ensuring the continuous of the value of products and services. Financial stability given by the solvency of the company, which is able to pay its short term financial obligations. The quality of managerial programs. Organizational growth based on their attracting resources and providing more goods and services. Conclusions. Performance management involves a systematic approach at the level of the, in the entire organization, of human resources management and implicitly of performance evaluation based on the objectives and internal needs of the organization, aiming to motivate employees and encourage creative potential. Thank you very much for this opportunity.